damn it. All this walking is giving me a front wedgie. Oh, I said that out loud, didn't I? The people of Skyrim have very dirty minds. I say the most innocent of things and they all get the wrong idea. I suppose you're a bit like that as well. You and I make a great couple. Oh, I mean like a team, not like... Forget it. Would it be wrong if I was physically attracted to you, even though you're a woman? Sorry, I was thinking out loud. Just ignore anything I just said. I wonder why the Dunmer are called Dark Elves? It makes them sound really evil. Do you think that Sabercats and Khajiit are somehow related? They do seem similar, except the Khajiits are more human. You don't suppose a human and a Sabercat... Nope. I'm not going there. People get a little touchy when I say that. Children creep me out. Is it just me or do they all look the same? If we had kids, what do you suppose they would look like? Oh no, I meant hypothetically. Not that I would want to. Although you are. I'm just going to shut up now before I really embarrass myself. I get a lot of looks from people wherever I go. I'm not sure if it's because they find me attractive, or because they think I'm a little odd. Or both. I can't help feeling a kind of connection between us. I'm not sure what it is. I guess it's natural with you being a brave adventurer, and me, well, you know. You don't see as many Khajiits about these days. I guess they must have gone elsewhere. Do we get it? Elsewhere? Elsewhere? <laughs> When people think of wood elves, they usually think of trees, but not me. I'm a little too embarrassed to say what comes to mind. People think women are vain for trying to look good. Just because men are lazy and don't even bother having a wash doesn't mean we are vain. It's no fun. So, have you ever read The Lusty Argonian Maid? It sounds like my kind of book. What? Just because I'm female doesn't mean I can't enjoy a nice classy piece of literature. I've heard it's quite intellectually stimulating. Actually, I just heard it was stimulating. Although I don't think it was the intellectual kind. I don't get it. Men say they wouldn't mind piercing me with their arrow, or stabbing me with a sword and then walk away laughing. Should I be worried? I have noticed that there seems to be a trend of women wearing subtle amounts of war paint on their lips and around their eyes and cheeks. Do you think I look attractive? Uh, what I mean is, does it make me look more attractive? Or did you not notice? Does drinking milk make me a milk drinker? I'm confused. I drink milk, but I'm also tough and drink as much meat as the other Nords. So what does that make me? I always miss the people I break up with. I need to learn to aim better with my bow. Imagine if I was Dragonborn. The term shouting would take on an entirely new meaning. I do love causing a stir. Once I started singing at the top of my voice and someone told me to stop shouting. Then I replied, do I look Dragonborn or like one of those creepy old guys who live on the mountain tops to you? <laughs> The last man who said women belong in the kitchen and should go back to their knitting soon at his words when I punched him into oblivion. I think he must have been eating soup for quite a while after that, and I bet it wasn't a woman serving it. I wonder what would happen if a Khajiit and an Argonian had a baby? Ugh, that would be one ugly baby. The guards in Skyrim are a miserable bunch. We risk life and limb slaying wolves, bandits, and a lot worse all day, and they complain about a single arrow in the knee. I bet if a guy found out his wife was dragonborn, he wouldn't be best pleased. Men already constantly complain about being shouted at by their wives. I mean, can you imagine a dragonborn woman shouting at her husband? <laughs> that would really give him something to complain about. My parents were funny people. I mean, weird funny, not the haha -ha kind. Do you think I'm pretty? I'm feeling a little self-conscious. <laughs> I love saying that to guys when they are with their wives. 
They don't know what to say, as if they say yes, their wives get jealous, and if they say no, I pretend to be really upset and they feel bad. What? I have to amuse myself somehow. Have you noticed that people seem to always say the same things? And people complain about me. I've always wondered. Since when people die, they take their final form as they were when they died. If you die naked, does your spirit remain naked? I can't say a fancy roaming around either in Sovngarde or as a ghost without any clothes on. Well, at least not all the time. It's not about how much gold you have. It's about how much of it you spend on me. It was a joke. Honest. Although, I wouldn't mind a new dress or maybe a necklace. Don't think I don't see you eyeing me up and down. I'm not just eye candy, you know. I do have other uses. And if you're thinking what I think you are thinking, then think again. I do like to be admired, though, I must admit. Ugh, I think I need to go to bed after all this walking. Care to join me? Oh, no, I didn't mean, you know... I, I meant separate. <sighs> I think I should just stop talking. I can get away with anything in Skyrim. I just act all cute and innocent, and the guards turn a blind eye. Not that I'm a bad person or anything. Most of the time. People seem to think all Nords are racist, but surely that itself is racist. I'm not racist, though I just don't like Khajiits. Or Agonians. Or elves. Come to think of it, I'm not that fond of orcs, red guards, or imperials either. Damn it, I always end up upsetting someone. Don't take it personally. Is it just me, or does it sound a little inappropriate when the guards tell people to stop lollygagging? <laughs>